Deadly shootings in one week have Knoxville police investigators busy. 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with one leader in the city who comes to work every day working to improve safety across Knoxville. It's difficult to say, you know, when or why these things may happen, but it's important for us every time um, that we rally as a community to support those who have lost their loved ones. On November 23rd, police say they found 49-year-old Frank Vincent dead outside a home on Fifth Avenue. At least two others were shot, but KPD says their injuries weren't life-threatening. On November 24th, Thanksgiving Day, KPD found 27-year-old Martel Thomas dead in a car on McConnell Street. Authorities believe it was a targeted shooting. And on November 27th, this past Sunday, KPD found two people dead inside a home on Graves Street with apparent gunshot wounds. They haven't released much more. Knoxville Community Safety Director LaKenya Middlebrook says she hopes their prevention work will become a long-term solution. We did not get to these places overnight. Uh, and we will not solve these issues overnight, but it has to be consistent, persistent effort and coordinated collaborative efforts by our entire community. That was Grace King reporting just two weeks ago. Knoxville City Council members gave the go ahead for the city to apply for $2 million in state grant money. It would be money meant to help stop crime before it happens through intervention programs. Again, the state has yet to award that money. 